Hello, bro. Sorry about the late uploads, lads. I've not been uh, doing my morning walking recording type videos, right? I'll get back into them soon. As when I sit down and record like this, I've been taking a while to upload because I'm usually not on a time limit. So I can just sit down for an hour and keep on talking. But I'm, I'm not going to do that today, right? I remember yesterday. I, by the way, watch the social anxiety guide that I posted yesterday. It's not got that many views. I put an hour into it, bro. More than an hour, but I think it will really change your life. But I just want to tell you about my day today, really. So today, what I did was... Well, let me give you some backstory first. I live in England... And the weather is horrible, especially this time of year, around, what is it, February? And I, I just never really go out of my house unless it's for the gym, for church or the shop, like something that I have to do, right? Because I don't really like going outside in this weather. Maybe I'm just being a retard, right? Maybe I should go outside anyway. It's just raining all the time. It's cold. And it's not nice, bro, right? But today we actually had like, sun bro it wasn't perfect sun but i could actually see the sky that was that it was blue bro that's a big deal if you live in the uk right the sky was blue it wasn't gray and cloudy and uh so i thought okay i'm just gonna go outside and i didn't know what to do outside so i was like should i go on a hike i got my my hiking boots here bro they need a wash bro i can't lie and my hiking boots here i put them on and uh you know, I was like, okay, I'm just going to go on a hike. And then I thought, nah, I've been on hikes before. What can I do that's different? So I thought, why don't I just leave the house, have no plan, and just go? I thought, where the hell am I going to go? I don't know, bro. So I just, I got my normal clothes on. And just left the house. And like habitually, I just walk to the bus stop. Like that's just the bus stop, right? That's the spot that I would go to. So I just, I just wait at the bus stop. I think, what am I gonna do? So then I decided I'm probably gonna go to Manchester, like the town. I live in a city, Salford, it's called, which is like on the outskirts of Manchester. So I thought I'm probably just gonna go to like the main town because there's a lot of people there. Sunny, it's like the, the land of the NPCs, bro. I thought, might as well just be around people because I don't really like people, especially in town because they're a bit crazy, bro. So I thought, why don't I just embrace the crazy? Why don't I just go there for fun? And this is a weird thing for me because I've never actually been there for fun. The only reason that I've ever been there is because somebody's asked me to go there. I've had to walk through there. Or I've had to buy something from there. I've never went there just for the cause of having fun. Like, especially not in the, the daytime, bro. Like, there's a lot of people that go at night time for, like, the bars and clubs, that kind of thing. But I, I, I've never really done that, though. Like, before I was, like, a Christian, I, I went to bars, like, two, three times, bro, in Manchester. But that's literally all I've ever done there. I've never actually went there and looked around had fun there i've never done that so i just went there bro i just i had no idea what i was gonna do i just went there so i got on the bus just, it was a long bus ride bro, like 45 minutes i eventually got there and uh I, I didn't know what to do so if you know manchester there's like a big what do you call it, like a shopping center area right something like that called arndale it's like a, one of the main parts. There's a bunch of shops in there, a bunch of people, a bunch of cafes, that kind of thing. I just walked in there, walked around, you know. And then I went to JD, which is like a big sports clothing shop. Walked around, bro. You know what? It's pretty fun just looking around. I can't lie. Like, I was on my own, just walking around, looking around. I was, it's something I've never actually done before. It's kind of weird, right? Like, if, if I didn't go outside and leave the house, I probably would have been a degenerate, bro, because I, I'm in, like, one of them little ruts, right? Uh, so I thought, rather than just sitting down doing nothing, probably just looking at my phone, right? I might as well just go outside. I didn't know what I was going to do outside. But I just walked, bro. I just walked. I said, okay, this is good. I'm walking, right? 
So then eventually just got a sausage roll from Greg's, bro. And, uh, bro, I spent three pounds on a little bottle of orange juice like this, right? And a sausage roll. Right, that's not even the point of the video, right? <laughs> Inflation is crazy out here. But um, then I went to Primark after I after I um, just sat down on a bench eating my sausage roll. I was like, I've never sat down on a bench on my own just to eat a sausage roll. And I promise this video actually has a part. I'm not just talking at you. But I just sat down on a bench in public eating a sausage roll. Just not even on my phone, just sat here like this. Nom, nom, nom. Eating my sausage roll, bro. For like two, three minutes, just sat there. And there's people going past. There's trams, there's buses, cars. Are. And uh, I ate my sausage roll, got up, went into Primark, you know, looked around. Saw some clothes on it, seen like some 100% cotton shirts. Well, I didn't see them. I seen clothes that were like 95% cotton. And I thought, oh yeah, I need some cotton shirts. Because cotton shirts, like, they're good for your skin, right? I shouldn't be wearing this kind of thing. It's like bad for estrogen and that kind of thing, right? I know. Uh, so I, I asked one of the workers, it was a woman, I thought, okay, right. Big boy time. Get your big boy pants on, right? Time to talk to women. <laughs> so I, I just went over to the worker and said, have you got any 100% cotton shirts? And she's like, oh, I don't know. So she talks to some other girl, calls her over. And she goes, where's the 100% cotton shirts? And she's like, oh, I'll show you. So then I just have a small talk with these lovely ladies, right? Like, listen, if you watched the social anxiety guide yesterday, that, yeah, it, it was posted yesterday, I'm, you will know why I'm doing this. I'm doing this to get out of my comfort zone. Because I'm not like a naturally social person. Like I can do it, right? I can talk to people. I just don't like to, right? I don't like to. It's kind of like a barrier for me. I have to break through the wall before I actually get into full state. But I do this. Like I just randomly talk to people around me. And I, I get used to talking to people around me. It becomes easier, right? So I got my shirts. Go to check out whatever. Some gay guy is checking out, right? I'm not, listen. I didn't say nothing. Some gay guy, right? Uh, <laughs> I had, like, boxes as well that I was buying. He said, just so you know, you can't return these. I said, oh, I wasn't probably returning those ones anyway. And we were just having, like, a joke. I'm like, yeah. Boom. Done. Primark. Done. Then I went in some bookshop, bro. What is it called? Waterstones or something. Bro, I went to the self-help, um, like, department or whatever for the books. There were girls looking at the self-help books, bro. I was like, huh? But you know, because I'm a little wimp, right? I was actually thinking of saying something, but they had their headphones in. I was like, nah, that's weird, bro. And they weren't even that attractive. I was like, nah, they even attractive, bro. But looking back now, I actually should have said something, right? Even if I wasn't trying to like raise them up, right? Even if like you, if you see a girl, right, just doing her own thing, and you like, or even not even a girl, a man, bro. If you just think I want to say something to this person, right? Because I, I wasn't even attracted to these girls. It was just like I probably should, right? Uh, if this is just a person that you want to speak to, but you think, oh, now they're going to think I'm weird. I'm still getting over this, bro. Like, it's 10 million times easier now. But when they have their headphones in, they're just doing that one thing. I always have, like, a little bit of resistance. But I should have done it looking back, right? I should have just said, oh, I didn't think girls read self-improvement books anymore, right? Uh, but, yeah, so I was just looking around, talked to a few people. I ended up getting, oh, I've left the, I've left the books downstairs, but I got... Two books. One book is called Attached. I don't know who it's by. It's something about relationship types or attachment styles. I'm, I I couldn't tell you what it's about, right? I think it's something about childhood trauma and relationships, right? Don't ask me. I'm not ready yet. I've heard a few people talk about it. And then I got Ego is the Enemy by Ryan Holiday. I've heard about that. Never read it. So, yes, I got my books, bro. And yeah, the point of this video is, like, I left my house with no intentions, right? I li this is the first time I've ever done that. Left my house with no intention of where to go, what to do. And then I actually started to realise life is literally like a video game, bro. It's like an open world video game. You can go wherever you want. You can say whatever you want to whoever you want. You can do whatever you want. You can be whoever you want to. It's really like a weird thing. I'm telling you, if you've never done this, leave your house with no intention. Don't even start thinking about what you're going to do right now. Put your shoes on, if it's like not in the middle of the night. Put your shoes on. Get your clothes on. Go out the door. 
before you could even think about what to do. I had no idea what I was going to do, bro. So now you're outside, right? You're literally just outside thinking, what am I going to do? Twiddling your thumbs, right? Or whatever. Just walk, bro. Oh, get on a bus. I just went to the city centre because I, I never actually like, looked around there before. And I, I, I only looked around like a small part of it too. I'll probably do this again at some point in the future. But yeah, man, like it was such a weird experience, right? You, It helps you to realise. Oh, and by the way, take out your earphones when you're there. Turn your phone off. Just no digital stuff, right? But it helps you realise that life is literally kind of like a video game, bro. Like, you think you, <laughs> you play GTA, you think, oh, I can do so much in this game. I wish real life was like this, bro. Bro, compared to real life, GTA is boring. Seriously, like, if you think about it, right? If you had money like GTA money, right? You would not play GTA again. <laughs> like, you can literally go anywhere, anytime, any place, bro. Doesn't matter. You can do whatever you want. But you can only unlock that freedom if you actually get money. Like, we need money, bro. I could have done so much more if I had, like, 10 million in my bank account, bro. So I walked past some, like, jewelry shops, seen some nice watches, bro. I was like, I want that. Seen some nice cars, I was like, I want that. You know what I'm saying, bro? So literally just leave your house, go outside. It's better than playing video games, watching YouTube. Better than watching this video, bro. Because, let's be real, I, I didn't even teach you anything in this video, right? I just told you what you probably know what you should be doing. Your parents always told you, go outside, kid. Play, go play out, go play with your friends, right? I was like, where am I supposed to go? Whenever my mum said that to me. But now that I'm actually older, and I've literally just done it for the first time, like, just left my house with no intention. I actually enjoyed it. I was kind of nervous at the start, I'm not going to lie. I was pretty nervous because I didn't know what I was going to do. I was like, okay. It's like, imagine getting dropped off in a random town, right? And you don't know what to do. You don't know anyone. I was literally all alone, bro. <laughs> so I had no intentions. I just walked around. And spoke to a few people. That's literally all life is, bro. Walking around and speaking to people. That's like the funniest thing you can do. I'm being completely serious, bro. If you're stuck for fun things to do, you don't know what to do. Oh, I've got no money, bro. I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. Just walk around. Seriously. I didn't even have to spend any money. I could have just walked around and had fun. I just bought things that I needed to buy. All right. Like if you bring like five pounds, go get a coffee or something. Maybe like a, a little cake for your treat, right? Just do this like once a week, bro. Bring a book. I brought a book in my bag, but I didn't even end up sitting down anywhere. Like, I just carried on walking. I read the book on the bus. All right? You can bring a book, bring a journal, bring a pen, sit down in a coffee shop, speak to a few people around you. Even if you're anxious, you don't even have to speak to people. Just get used to being around people with your earphones or your headphones off. Right? Try and hold eye contact with people if any of them will look at you. Like, if you're in a big city, they probably won't, right? Because they didn't look at me hardly any of them, bro. <laughs> Wait, one, one woman looked at me because I almost tripped her over, but that's a different story. But yeah, most people, like, with the, when they're with their friends or they're rushing to a shop or whatever, they're not going to make eye contact with you. They're not going to say hello to you. That's why I don't really like cities like that. People are kind of, like, in their own heads. But if you actually go there, just with like an attention, intention to look around, just have fun, enjoy the day. Like, it's fun. I've always hated the city. I've always like, wanted to get out of the city. Because I've been out of the city and I love outside the city. But there's a reason why people from outside the city go into cities, right? Every once in a while, it's kind of nice. It was kind of, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I was... It was refreshing to see people outside, bro. There were people just walking around with their friends, talking. There were just people outside. And it was like a nice thing to see because I'm constantly on my phone, YouTube, or at the gym or at church. I don't really like see the hustle and bustle of society, right? I just see a few highlights. But actually being there and like looking around, thinking things, it's so good thing bro it's like <laughs> it's like i just discovered outside right and i'm not some little weirdo who plays 
plays video games inside all day, right? I'm just somebody who only goes where he has to go. I don't really explore like that. I've been on a few hikes, but that's pretty much the only exploring I've ever done. Other than when I was a kid, and my mum would be like, oh, don't, don't go over that hill where I can't see you or whatever, right? I'm telling you, go over the hill. <laughs> Your mum's not going to find out, bro. <laughs> Probably. Uh, don't get yourself stabbed, right? Um... Yeah, man, I just wanted to tell you that if you just leave your house with no intention, you're going to be pretty nervous, I'm not going to lie, if it's like your first time doing anything like this. But, bro, you should know that every time you do something that makes you nervous, you grow as a person. So, yeah, man, just go have fun outside. Go speak to people outside. Strangers, complete strangers. Just have fun. All right, bro. Okay. I'll try to get back to my daily, like, walking vlogs, bro. But I've been posting daily, so you can't complain, bro. All right, take care, bro. Mwah.